hello everyone welcome to the video today we are going to be comparing between Kling AI and Viscom AI lately I've been uh, trying to do some animation studies rendering studies through Kling AI uh, most of you may already know I have another video about it if you didn't watch it yet uh, please at the end of the video I will leave an extension uh, for you to guys to, to watch it uh, make sure you uh, see that too uh, but lately Wiscom AI to be honest uh, is being developed uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a better way so in today's video I was trying to do some animation studies through uh, Wiscom AI uh, as most of you know Wiscom AI is uh, pretty much uh, known by uh, converting our doodles into beautiful uh, rendered sketches so uh, but it offers more than that for sure uh, I was experimenting the animation sides um, coming with the latest updates. Um, so we are going to be comparing between two, Kling AI and Wiscom AI. See the differences, uh, which kind of powerful methods we can uh, leverage between. And of course, if you like to support uh, my studies over here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, uh, comment your thoughts. And without further ado, uh, let's see the differences between. There are three major differences between the uh, tools. Uh, so the first one is on the left hand side, you will be seeing the Kling AI. On the right hand side, you will be seeing the Viscom AI. So the first one, uh, Kling AI actually pretty much focuses on video creating in any kind it, this this can be this can be some uh, cartoonish animation studies or hyper realistic animation studies doesn't matter the topic is wide actually while on the other hand Wiscom uh, is actually focusing on industrial design and automotive design mainly uh, but with the latest upgrades we see some fashion design tools uh, are being implemented also um, yeah it is pretty much basically industrial design and automotive design uh, focused and the second uh, biggest difference is uh, Kling AI offers text to video uh, image to video text to image etc and so on uh, while on the other hand Wiscom AI is offering sketch to render sketch to animation uh, render to animation uh, pretty much the basic uh, design solutions uh, Wiscom AI offers here and the third major difference is Kling AI is used for content creating uh, marketing education uh, or movie making and so on while on the other hand Wiscom AI is mainly focused on design development so what we are seeing here is Kling AI has much wider perspective much wider uh, target users while on the other hand Wiscom AI uh, targets the main user to be the designers pretty much so uh, I have combined my latest animation studies together the first part of it is out of Kling AI and the second part of the animation study will be the Wiscom AI and there are some major differences you can see over there for instance what i can say is clink ai tends to uh, change your um, animation inputs in a in a, a big portion while wiscom ai tries to focus uh, what you give as an input such as the perspective such as the design but clink ai tends to change this kind of inputs you uh, kind of write down to the um, text as a text or as a imagery of course yeah uh, maybe it is time to have a look at the video and uh, we can talk on it later on as well I gotta say the presentation techniques are going somewhere great and uh, most of the things that are considered hard to do uh, really becoming uh, easier and getting easier real fast yeah I suggest uh, we should adopt all of these AI tools um, 
and we should try to apply those tools into our design workflows if you're especially a student uh today is kind of things are getting really easy uh, for you to demonstrate your uh, design idea rather than spending your time uh, just to create an animation study of your design uh, rather than spending your time to learn the techniques over there maybe you can leverage using ai tools and kind of speed up your uh, design process maybe you can do better design decisions uh, meanwhile i mean yeah this is going uh, really good the ai workflows but the major uh, major uh, differences between the video was to clink ai kind of kept changing the camera angles as you can see it's kind of it focused somewhere uh, maybe i didn't want it to focus while on the other, other hand um, viscom ai focuses on the major perspective that i give it as a source uh, it kind of rely on it and yet try to didn't change as much as it could because eventually uh, the design that we are uh, kind of that we target to have supposed to be pretty much the same as in our inputs so this is the most of the hardest point of the AI, uh, leverage of the AI tools uh, AI tools tends to change your uh, final design may, they may tend to change your final design so in here what i experiment is with come i try to keep your design input while on the other hand clean ai might give you uh, bigger opportunities creating the animations but tends to change your design but of course while uh, experimenting these details you can decide in which phase you are going to be using which ai tool uh, by yourself but experimenting all of the uh, different ai tools is the key what i suggest pretty much and yeah this is it pretty much for the video uh, let me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe leave your thoughts below uh, and like the video thanks for watching see you on the next one bye bye